Russia offers a variety of natural, cultural and historical sites. Some of them are widely known, but some are overlooked. We are flying over the stone idols in the Troitskopichorsky district of the Republic of Komi. This is Manpupuner, a small mountain of idols in the local Mansi language or weathering pillars in scientific terms. Far back in the past, there was a mountain range here, but the rain, snow, wind and sudden changes in the temperature gradually eroded the soft rocks. What has remained are bizarrely shaped pillars of hard shale rocks. Sometimes the stone giants make booming sounds as if talking to one another. Given the abnormal shape of these natural wonders, it is not surprising that there is a host of legends about the Manpupunar pillars that make them so mysterious. The pillars are in a hard-to-reach spot. The first explorers came to the area only in the 1930s. Today, Manpupunar makes part of the Pichora Ilyich Nature Reserve. In 2008, the formations were recognized as one of the seven wonders of Russia. But it is still hard to get here. We had to travel 227 kilometers using a snowmobile, starting off in Komsomolsk on Pichora. Making such a trip, it is ideal to stay overnight at the Shezhim Pichorsky Cordon, picturesquely situated above the Pichora River. One can stay overnight in the reserve area in designated locations only. There is a mountain camping area for tourists, Vologodskaya Gran, 10 kilometers from the Manpupunar Pillars. Right now, we are flying over this camping area. Winters here can be severe. Tourists are tested for strength by hard frost and extremely strong winds. Near the Vologodskaya Grand camping area, there is a border between Asia and Europe, marked with a special sign. Also, this is where the Pechora River begins. We got here along its frozen bed.
It takes no longer than 15 minutes to get from the camping area to the pillars by snowmobile. And the scenery is fantastic. We are about to reach our destination, Man Pupunur, the small mountain of idols. The first we encounter is the Shaman Rock, the first of the Man Pupunur pillars. Each pillar has its unique shape, resembling a man, an animal, head, a bottle, and other objects. A variety of shapes, depending on the imagination of the person looking at them. The rock pillars are 30 to 42 meters high. All in all, there are 14 pillars, 8 in one group, and six in the other group, a little bit apart. Two of the eight pillars are so close to one another that they look like a single monolith. The pillars not just adorn the silent landscape, they line up like scrupulous observers standing guard that remind us how beautiful and at the same time fragile is the nature. 